and these are some good ways to exercise and build up strength in the spine. And we got things like walking, strength training, dancing, right? These are yep. all great. Tai Those Chi, are, hiking. Yep. Tai Chi is one of the most uh, important exercises in terms of um, balance type of exercise. So normally we wanna make sure that we're loading the bones. Anything right. that we're doing, uh, constantly uh, pounding that bone, like constantly we're remodeling that bone, so we're creating a healthy bone we, there's a turnover of the bone that you, we just want to be promoting there and uh, destroying and creating bone, destroying and creating bone, that's how it is. Mm -hmm. So that way there's no bad bone there or weak bone and uh, uh, there's no way to develop a, str a strong bone. Right. Now, what other advice would you give patients who may have already had a fracture in their spine and want to make sure they prevent any more further fractures? Be healthy, be a, keep doing uh, activities, be active. So another thing will be listening to your primary care or endocrinologist or uh, rheumatologist in terms of the treatments and making sure that you're getting a, a, a yearly or every two years a bone density test mm -hmm. to make sure that your levels are on, 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 on the, uh, going in the right direction. Let me ask you, do spine fractures have any impact on the brain? No, no, there's no, there's no direct correlation between a spine fracture and uh, having any brain problem, however, it can lead into having patients on depression and be a little more apprehensive. So they develop a fracture and now they are scared of developing another fracture right. because of the amount of pain that they develop. So they might start pre preventing themselves and doing some activities that they were enjoying because most likely they're gonna have another fracture. So the, the answer for that, it can happen, okay? But if you're taking your medications and you're preventing yourself in developing a fracture, there's, there's no reason of, uh, uh, preventing you from from doing uh, things that you enjoy. Now, for in terms of exercises, are core exercises good for a healthy back? Yes, that's part of the bread and butter that we tell all to all patients. Okay. We want to make sure that they are strengthening those core muscles, so that way the muscles are absorbing the energy that has been driven from the outside. So the muscles are uh, picking up that slack, and less pressure goes into the spine itself. Mm -hmm. And hence, in this case, will be the bone. Less likelihood of having fractures.